This week is known as Shabbos Parah, the week of the Parah Aduma, which we read in the Torah. Besides for the weekly Torah portion, we read a portion uh, which talks about the red heifer, which is used was used in the time of the Beis Hamikdash of the Temple to cleanse and to purify the Jews. Now, the, what's interesting is why we read it now. What occurred to me this year because we just had Purim this past week. And our sages teach us that Yom Kippur is called Yom Kippurim. The holiest day of the year, Yom Kippur, is like the day of Purim. Just as holy, Purim has that power. And Yom Kippur, the Talmud says that the Kohen, the priest, used to hang a piece of red cloth or thread on top of the Besamek Dash before Yom Kippur. And as soon as Yom Kippur ended, the end of the day, it miraculously turned white. And that shows that Hashem forgave the Jewish people because it turned white. Well, friends, we just had the Purim. And right after Purim, everything turned white. And that shows Hashem loves us and accepted our Purim with love and cleansed the world. And now we have the Shabbos Par, which it prepares us for the next month of Nisan which is the month which we became a nation. And you know why we have the power? Because there are many mitzvahs in the Torah which we say they make sense. They're logic. Thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not murder. They make sense. And we say, oh, I get that. But this red heifer business sounds strange. They took the, the, the cow, they burnt it, and the ashes mixed with water they used to sprinkle on non-clean people, and that's how they became pure. And people would say, that doesn't make too much sense. And the Torah says, that's really the definition of a good Jew. When you follow the Torah, whether you understand it or not. And to become a nation, which we will become over the next few weeks, Pesach, we have to start taking upon ourselves that we're clean, Shem cleansed us, and are we ready to take upon ourselves the Torah entirely, even those things that don't make sense. Thank you and good Shabbos. Shabbos, Shabbos.